Istanbul is one of the few cities in the world when you can pack the whole Eat, Pray, Love experience in just one city and in just a few days. We had planned for a road trip in Croatia that got ended because of the pandemic, and so we switched to Istanbul without really knowing what to expect. We spent the first day going for the pre part of the experience. Today is our first day in Istanbul and we are going to do all the religious things, so I'm covered up head to toe. I'm going to show you my outfit of the day. Here we have it, we have this super cute jeans blouse and then I have to be covered as much as possible. And apparently they're going to give us hair scarves, but I'm taking one just in case because I don't want to miss out on something cool. <laughs> Istanbul has many great and large mosques, each with its own spirit and style. Sadly, the Blue Mosque was in renovation, but we got to visit Hagia Sophia, where a guide explained to us the evolution of this extremely old building, from its Christian route to its conversion to Islam, to its conversion to a museum, and now back to Islam. What do you like being the first guest on my channel? It's uh, an honor. The food was absolutely delicious. We got treated to so many plates, and as I love eggplants, I tried it in all its different varieties. We of course tried the ice cream that is famous in Istanbul, where the ice cream maker plays tricks on you before they feed you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I would really recommend you try rooftops. We had two great experiences, one in the spoiler bar. We got to have the bar just for ourselves and the barman gave us excellent cocktails to enjoy with a great view. The other one was a small family restaurant called Hansa Day, where the food was really delicious and they kept calling me and my friend Mr. Carl and Mrs. Law during the whole dinner where we had a lot of fun. If you enjoy my content, please like this video, but only subscribe if you want to see more of what I've been doing. Good morning! It's my second day in Istanbul with my friend, and today is a spa day because I announced that it's going to be raining all day. And apparently when you are in Istanbul, you should try the full Turkish massage experience. So I'm going to get ready, we're going to have a very nice breakfast, and we're going to treat ourselves to one of the best spa in the city. But the city itself is an experience. We really enjoy going through the different types of markets, strolling down the streets, finding more touristy places and less touristy places to visit. Istanbul is very rich in culture and the people are very welcoming to tourists, especially in these times where they need the tourists to come back. Good morning! I'm a little bummed because today is the last day in Istanbul where we are going to do a lot of walking around, shopping and we are ending the day with a cruise ship on Istanbul so we're gonna get to see the main sites of Istanbul on a ball while we get food and animation it's going to be absolutely epic! Yeah. 